This video describes the pilot's oxygen system in the Piper Meridian as described by Bill Inglis, president of Legacy Flight Training in Vero Beach, Florida. So the first thing the pilot's going to do to get ready for flight is to turn the oxygen system on with this lever right here with a red uh, cap on it and he's going to move it they're going to move it aft to the on position then the pilot's going to press the test button and here oxygen flown through the system to the mask but as long as the pilot hears the oxygen flow the system is tested and passed the test the next thing the pilot's going to do is check the oxygen pressure gauge on top of the cabinet here which the maximum is 2000 psi the yellow band shows from the 0 to the 800 PSI. 800 PSI is the legal limit for the pilot to be able to fly over flight level 250. And it looks like we have adequate oxygen level in the bottle, so the pilot is safe for flight. The pilot will pull out the oxygen mask as such, grabbing the red tabs on the mask and pulling forward, therefore removing it from the box. With the mask removed from the cabinet, the pilot would press on the two red tabs therefore send an oxygen from the mask to the head harness to fit around the pilot's head snugly by pressing like this expands the harness over the pilot's head releasing the red tabs and supplying oxygen now through the mask for the pilot now some of the other items to di discuss here on the mask are the uh, flow meter here to make sure that the check valve is opening as oxygen's flowing, so red would be closed. But if I just expand the head part to make it flow again, you'll see that the red flow check meter disappeared, saying that the oxygen was flowing through the mask. Now, this is also a diluter demand system. The system contains 25 minutes of oxygen for the pilot, and this lever here is either placed in a normal position which is 100 percent oxygen or the diluted which can be mixed with cabin air it's normally left in 100 percent position in case the air is contaminated such as smoke now with the mask in a different position so you can read what i'm talking about here's the diluter demand or the 100 percent lever that normally is in the position of 100 percent to dilute it the toggle goes downwards if the mask is on or in this position here so I'm going to put it back in 100%, and that's 100% oxygen, normal position. Okay. Now this lower knob here has two functions. It says press to test, where by pressing on the test, you can hear the oxygen being flown, uh, flowed through the mask itself. That's checking a diluter system. Compared to the earlier test button that we pressed earlier on the cabinet, that tested the entire oxygen flow to the mask. This is checking the oxygen system through the mask. The other part of the knob is the normal position, which is on the half circle. And if you needed more pressure in emergency for a continuous flow, you can dial it to the emergency flow position as such. I placed it back in normal flow. Therefore, in normal, you'll only be getting oxygen as you breathe normally. The emergency is always being pressurized to you. While using the pilot's oxygen mask, there is a microphone installed and incorporated in the mask right here. And to select that microphone when the oxygen mask is in use, the pilot would move the rocker switch just to the left of the pilot control column here from boom to mask for communication. To install the mask back into the cabinet, the first thing the pilot would do is turn off the oxygen system squeeze all the oxygen pressure out of the mask lines itself and then just clear up very neatly the oxygen supply tube and so it goes back into the cabinet nice and then take the harness part and simply just very nicely put it back into the center of the mask itself and now the mask is ready to be installed back into the cabinet okay now with this in a position with the hose in there already and the mask is ready to go in it's installed sort of on an angle where you'll neatly just put it up and in and just work it toward the back as such. And the goal is to line this pin into the little hole on the side of the oxygen mask red tab. In order to do that, the pilot must angle it as such, push the 
test and reset back in to reset the oxygen on flag or it will never get and reach the pin. So that's done by pressing the test in. You hear the click. Now it lined up with the hole in the pin and it's in. And now I close the right hand door and the mask is properly stowed. We know it's properly stowed because by turning it on, no oxygen is flowing to the mask while it's armed. Ready and prepared in case the pilot needs it in the future. Also on the cover of the relief tube door, LED lights are installed to illuminate the oxygen mask for the pilot find at night to find the mask easier. There is also a light switch located in this position that will turn on the pulse light to illuminate the oxygen gauge on top for the pilot as well. All connected to the main bus power. Nothing runs to the hot bus, so by leaving either one on, it will not deplete the battery. To surface the oxygen system, the pilot or the mechanic would press down on a release lever, allowing the oxygen drawer to open, exposing the oxygen bottle, so the mechanic can put the adapter to the connection to charge the system.